Now, we have advanced, a bit crusty, you know, sort that out with some cocoa butter honey. Hello, welcome back to another video. I hope you're doing really, really good. Today's video, I'm going to be showing you my 2020 winter tanning routine. This is something I really pride myself in, I must admit, and it's something I think I've got pretty good at now. And um, I've been tanning since I was like 40, religiously tanning like about once a week. I feel like I know a lot of the tips and tricks by now, and I've tried so many different brands. Um, so I just thought I would share them on here. In the winter as well, I think skin gets a lot drier with it being cold and like you're covered up most of the time so I just want to show you my little hacks in terms of sunbeds I would absolutely avoid them at all costs they're so bad for your beautiful skin that you get worn off and you know you can just get yourself as my dad calls it, tan in a can. And I think it's a nicer, more glowy tan anyway. So, you know, if you're a sunbed user, girl, you need to cut that out. That's just my honest opinion. One thing I would say is, if you have got the time to prepare your skin before you tan, I would always advise that, because you always get a much nicer coverage. Um, but I must admit, like, you know, life gets busy and it's not top of your priority list. So, you know, you can sort of find ways around it or like find a quick way of exfoliating and everything. But when I have got the time, I always like to exfoliate and like shave my skin the day before I tan just because then my pores aren't as open and you don't get like the tan seeping in. But I'm going to start by showing you what I do the day before I start. Hello from the voiceover. So first step, I remove all my previous old crusty tan. I quite like this combo together. It's the best that I've found yet, although it still doesn't remove absolutely everything. Um, but I really like the Loving Tan Exfoliating Mitt. That really helps get all my excess like old tan off. So I'm going in with the like this brush that I've got as well and taking my razor in. So I pump quite a generous amount of the tan remover. This stuff smells amazing. It's like really fruity and it always sort of leaves a scent on your skin afterwards. I always start with like my legs and really go in on those feet because that is where it tends to go like all dodgy and patchy um, and sort of like any dry patches. Then I'm moving on to my hands. This is the most important part because obviously this is what gives away like the worst fake tan if you've got any patches and it tends to stick like in between your knuckles. So really make sure you get that all off. Next up, we're going in with the razor. Now I use conditioner as like a shaving foam if you like. I just get a much better like softer <laughs> leg afterwards so this is a really good little hack and it just means that you're not completely drying your legs out as well if you're using soap to shave your legs so ooh, look at me slippery snake shaving all them legs up um oh, i wish i was hairless honestly i would really consider getting laser removal probably at some point in my life because it's such a bane isn't it it's a real task but i do love that feeling after you shave like on fresh sheets here I am just shaving my entire soul. Oh, love being hairless. How nice is that feeling though, seriously? And I think your tan goes on so much nicer when you've got like silky legs, no hairs, knocking around. So smooth, so silky, but pale af. Favourite products for the actual application are these things. Um, I'll start with the tan, which is Loving Tan 2 Hour Express Deluxe Bronzing Mousse. I get it in dark and I also have the ultra dark one, which I kind of like mix in between, but I absolutely love this one. This colour is the nicest ever. It's like an olivey colour. When you actually apply it, you can actually see where you're applying it, which I think is so, so helpful. Um, so yeah, that is my absolute fave. It comes from Australia, so if you live in the UK, the delivery can be a little bit longer, but so, so worth it. Oh. Oh my god, I nearly throwing that on my floor. Then cocoa butter, oh, I go through so much of this stuff. I, I wish they did like, you know, super, super size bottles. Um, 
yeah this is my go-to moisturizer i put this on like my knees my feet any dry areas and that just helps stop the tan sticking to those areas like i said as well this is definitely a must like in the winter when your skin's a bit drier a bit crusty you know sort that out with some cocoa butter honey deodorant this is actually this is the biggest hack and i'm surprised i haven't seen more people going on about this but um i apply this in like so i've like sticky areas so after i've applied my tan i'll just pop it on it's almost like a, it feels like a primer to me but it just stops that stickiness and it's sort of sticking to your clothes as much so i just you know it spritz that all over also fyi this dove floral touch is the nicest smelling deodorant i'm really fussy when it comes to like deodorant scents so and then in terms of mitts now we have advanced i used to apply my tan with a sock like have anything I could find really when I was much younger. Mitts make an absolute massive difference. Like I find the cheaper mitts, it can like go through your hand. It's not as nice on your skin and then you don't get like as nice a finish and then you sort of blaming the tan when actually it's your mitt. I get my mitt as well from Loving Tan. I swear by this little baby. You can whack it in the wash and you're good to go for the next round. Definitely remember to wash these, especially if you're like using this on your face as well. Because um, if you think about it, you're rubbing it all over your body and whatnot and then on your face to that's when you're gonna get spots so yeah keep these clean in terms of like actual tan on my sheets i will just sleep in like fully covered pajamas that night um like the first night i've tanned and then it doesn't really i've never haven't really found like loving tan to go onto my sheets that much i like having white sheets as well just so that i can actually sleep on my bed in like dark sheets you don't know what you don't know what dirt's on there so i've always found it comes out of my white sheets anyway i just pop some varnish oxy action 60 90 degree whatever you fancy disintegrate those sheets get that tan out so smooth so silky but pale ass <laughs> this is, is super super pale so we're about to slap i was gonna say slab on slab on so i'm starting with putting a huge towel to cover up the floor i'd really recommend making sure you've got something like covered on your floor if you're going to tan that on carpet or anything or even like flooring for that matter um, and just make sure you don't drop me. And I'm going in with like this Kiehl's Ultra Moisturizer and popping that on any like super dry areas as well as cocoa butter. I'm just putting that in like on my knees, ankles, toes, you know, just them areas that are the sort of um, flakiest or ashiest if you like. This is an absolute must for areas like your feet where tan can build up, you know, you can end up with like orange ankles and orange toes, whereas this just helps a smoother overall finish. Then we're going straight in with the dark two hour express tan. Oh, having the time of my life. <laughs> I actually love tanning day to be fair. I was like a new woman straight after. I'm not putting it on my face like I was just shown. So I'm, I always start with like two pumps and I personally like starting with my legs. I rub in circular motions, just sort of smoothing everything out, making sure there's no streaks anywhere. This tan is generally quite good and um, I don't find it streaky at all really. I like starting with a thin layer and then building it up depending on like how dark I want to go. But this tan is generally quite dark with one layer as well i really like with this instant stuff that you can see exactly where you're putting it whereas you know sometimes them clear ones like you don't really know what's going on i really like with this tan as well the longer you leave it the darker it goes so that is my right leg done and left leg untouched i love with this time as well like you can tan the same day as you're going out and you don't always need to wash it off but i like sleeping in this one and then just washing it off the next day and i always think it goes like a deeper color too Moving on to my upper body, I always think this is the most important part because obviously it's the main bit of skin that's on show in the winter months um, and just going all over my sides, it can be easy to forget your sides and also if you've got any creases in your neck make sure you get right in those but I know not everyone always has these. Um, then I'm going to put some moisturizer on my armpits, which is quite unusual, but this really helps. Like, you know, sometimes tan can go all funny in your armpits, so that is a good little hack. Then I always finish, lastly, with doing my back. This is probably the hardest bit because you've literally got to stretch your arms further than they can go. Um, obviously, if there's someone around, I'd always get someone to do your back, but um, you can just make do. Just make sure you've got a mirror to look into. And then I'm just using the excess on the mitt to do my hands. I never actually put any pumps on my hands. 
um, I always think your hands are what give it away. And then I just finish up with setting everything with deodorant like I said earlier. This just makes things a lot less sticky and then I'm finished. Guys, I really hope you found this video of some use and got some little tips and tricks. Let me know in the comments down below if there's any of the videos you would like to see. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel, stick around, join the fam, and I'll see you guys in the next video.